youth runner here with Augustana standout, and we can forever call him Roy Griak champion, the great Ryan Hartman, 25-16. Uh, about a 13-second improvement from the, uh, that runner-up performance uh, last year. Uh, obviously, I know th that you always measure yourself on, you know, growth and improvement and you know, uh, trusting the process, trusting the coach, you know, being uplifted by your amazing teammates. But, uh, you know, I've always felt like you were going to be a Roy React champion. What does it mean to finally be a Roy React champion? Yeah, it, it, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun for sure. Uh, come here even in high school, uh, now in college. Uh, it's a lot of fun to kind of kind of have that, I guess, to, to the resume. and. Uh, it's a fun, it's a fun event, uh, and kind of just a, a stepping stone into the, into the later season. So, uh, kind of still work to be done, but it, but exciting, kind of knowing that I can uh, have gears like that, uh, especially on a grindy course like this. Most definitely. How would you assess, you know, this summer and you know, late August, early September, in comparison to past years? You know, what you and and and, and coach have, you know been trying to lay as the foundation and the building blocks and you know and just how excited you are not just because of today but just you know because of what has gone you know in in the bank already in training to get you yeah. ready for the second half of the year yeah uh definitely excited for for the year to come uh <clears throat> i think the name of the game every year is just staying healthy uh but uh kind of when it comes to workouts and stuff exciting stuff uh kind of reaching reaching new new heights and continuing to, to build the consistency. Uh, I think that's the big thing for me is just staying consistent and staying healthy. Uh, but yeah, I'm definitely putting in the work uh, in workouts and being smart with it. Uh, but yeah, for sure building building a good base going into the uh, second half of the season. Even We still got quite a bit of ways to go, so yeah. Ryan, you know how much I, I respect not only your consistency, your versatility, just you know, you being a, a top level guy, not just in, in Division Two, but you know, collegiately for, uh, for, uh, for so long. How significant? How, you know, how, how meaningful are cross country achievements for you, right? Because I, you know, I see all this brilliance and in individual events and relays and going over barriers and water jumps and you know, flat, you know, flat surfaces and whatnot on the, on the track. But like in terms of you know, you really wanting to leave an impact on the Augustana program and, you know, on the conference and, and on Division Two, like, how, how do you kind of evaluate where cross country play, uh, plays a role in that? Because, I mean, you're a man for all seasons and all terrains, but uh, but I'm just curious, like, how, how, how much, you know, especially when you get to be an upperclassman, you know, and, and when everything is kind of nostalgic and the last one, like, how much that means to you? Yeah, uh, cross country is definitely uh, a special uh, kind of sport, unique sport with just uh, the team, the team aspect of it. Uh, so I think kind of going forward, uh, just kind of being able to leave, just be the, that te that great teammate to, to the rest of the guys um, and the rest of the Augustana cross country program, um, and kind of be able to kind of inspire and push the push the guys and kind of leave it leave it better than I uh, uh, kind of than I came. Um, and that's all. That's easier said than done knowing that uh, just Augie has a, has a great culture of just just team and environment um, so yeah I, it'll, it's definitely gonna be a bittersweet season um, but no it'll be a lot of fun uh, kind of grinding it out with the guys and, and my friends so and to that aspect of, uh, of team right I mean obviously the reason that, uh, that coach brings uh, the men and the women here is I mean you know, there's been there have been times where you've seen some of the you know the RMAC teams, uh, like you know, see Colorado Springs you know, has has been here in the past and others. But I mean, obviously, you know, Northwest Missouri is a, is a group that you're gonna have to be very familiar with uh, uh, later in the year. And Michigan Tech's always been uh, profound here. I mean, like just to have the opportunity to see some familiar faces, but also maybe you know just take some information and you know put it in the back pocket for uh, for later in the year. Like just you know, just kind of the cross section of of the competition that's uh, that's here. Like how valuable is that for the team? Yeah, this was definitely a good opportunity to see some regional uh, teams, and I think uh, we still have some pieces we have to plug in, and uh, that'll be exciting. We can plug those guys in. Um, but yeah, definitely Lewis is on the schedule next, and that'll be a, a good opportunity to see some nationally ranked teams. Um, so uh, it's kind of just a just a stepping so stone towards that. Um, and I know at the end of the day, uh, we we're not going to lose sleep about losing to some of those teams out here today. Uh, but I think we. We fought hard. We were um, more grindy and uh, weren't, didn't really kind of fade as much as we did last year, which is exciting. Um, so kind of knowing that we, we have some room for improvement, but uh, definitely still still pleased with how the guys ran and uh, how we were maybe better 
better off pushing through that that middle uh, part of the race. So, last thing uh, for uh, for you personally, like to not only be able to uh, to create that gap, but just to, you know, to be so you know, so you're consistent, you know, but still so in command, so uh, so within yourself, right? It didn't, you know. I mean, obviously, it's only September 20th. Like you don't have to, you know, to completely uh, go to the well. Like does does that just uh, give you optimism or reassurance or you know affirmation of what's been done already? Because I know that you're a guy that you know as soon as the wind guy guys get out there, or some of the Armat guys get out there, or, you know, uh, you know, East Central guys get out there. Like you always rise to the occasion, but like, but for today, just the way that you were able to stay in command and control, is that reassuring for you? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think uh, going through the first 5K, uh, I'm feeling comfortable with definitely uh, the game plan going in, uh, and definitely was able to do that, and then kind of make a decisive push up the 5K hill, um, and kind of made my move and uh, that kind of was it after that. Um, so kind of knowing that that was, I'm able to kind of make moves like that and go through gears like that. Um, and I know I'll have more gears come later this season, uh, later on in that race. Uh, so yeah, it's definitely exciting uh, and I can't wait to get out a little bit harder um, and kind of put myself in the well a little bit sooner because I, I, I know I can uh, stay in there quite a bit. Uh, so yeah, exciting season to come. Fantastic. Well, we know uh, it's going to culminate uh, in November in Sacramento, but obviously a lot of memories and a lot of miles covered between now and then for the great Ryan Hartman from Augustana. 25-16.1, uh, Joe Ryder, men's uh, maroon uh, 8K champion here at 38th Ray Griac Invitational. Congrats, man. Well done. Thank you.